Hello, how's it going? This is Logan. I'm here to show you how to copy content from Unreal Engine 4 into Unreal Engine 5. Let's start by opening up Unreal Engine 4.27 or 26 and also a copy of Unreal Engine 5. Once you have Unreal Engine 4.27 or 4.26 open, you can either select a previous project you have available or you can start a new one. I'm going to be using my uh, current game, Fallcat, as an example, as well as my assets in a project that I have labeled StyleZoo. Back inside of the Epic Games launcher, uh, inside of the library, I'm going to select one of the assets that I'm using inside of Fallcat, which is the Stylized Castle by Alexander Ivanov. Uh, Alexander has a ton of amazing content. I own almost all of it because uh, I really enjoy the style. We're going to be bringing this castle from Unreal Engine 4 into Unreal Engine 5. I've gone ahead and opened up the map of the stylized castle and I have changed the mode to unlit. And I've also, before the tutorial started, gone in and deleted the landscape, the water, and all of the environmental lighting like the directional light, um, height fog, uh, atmosphere. You can also remove any light mass a quick tip, if you hit F11 while you're in the main viewport, you'll be able to bring it into full screen. You can select everything in the map by holding Ctrl and Alt and dragging across to form your selection. Or you can also hit Ctrl A and that will highlight everything inside of the map. I've hit F11 and gone back to the regular view, but this is critical step is you still have to perform the standard migration process. To do this, Simply right-click on the parent folder of the asset you'd like to bring into another project, whether it's in 4 or 5, scroll down to Migrate, and then hit OK. When migrating, make sure you select the content folder inside of the other Unreal project, otherwise the migration will not work correctly. I've already completed this process, but this is the castle from Unreal Engine 4 inside of my Fallcat world. Uh, another quick tip, if you see all my tabs are on the side here, if you are inside of Unreal Engine 5 and you hit F10, you will actually maximize your working viewport and all of the tabs will be on the side. I can hit F10 again and go back to the regular view, or I can hit F11 to not have the tabs and just only have the full viewport of the editor. Back inside of Unreal Engine 4, now that we have both projects containing the same asset, we can go ahead and control A, control C, so I'm selecting everything and then I'm copying everything and I'm going to open up my Unreal Engine 5 and I'm going to edit, paste, or control V. And you will see that the entirety of the castle has been brought in and is dropped into the world origin of 000. Be aware that the viewport might respond slightly slowly, especially with an asset of this size, when you are trying to move around um, dozens, potentially hundreds of actors that are all selected together. Things can be a little clunky to get around this. You can uh, merge the meshes, or you can create a blueprint based off of all the meshes, and then you'll be able to move the blueprint around much easier. And there you have it. It is as simple as opening up four and five and then using the classic Control c Control v from Unreal Engine 4 into Unreal Engine 5, you just need to ensure that the asset contained is in both projects. I also want to show you that this works from 4 to 4, so go ahead and open up two copies of the same projects with two different maps, and you can copy one map into the next map. I want to give a shout out to Dev Addict, where I learned to copy from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 4 with his blueprint courses. And then via experimentation, I just figured out that you could copy 4 into 5. I also want to give a shout out to Jonathan Winbush, as without him and his course Cinema 4D into Unreal Engine, I would have never got started using Unreal. So big ups to him. Thank you. And check out his YouTube channel as well. Bye now.